Tonight, Tarrant investigators are publicly expressing their frustration with the handling of a recent lawsuit by Tarrant's mayor against the chief of police. WBTM 13's Aaron Llewellyn is live in Birmingham for us tonight. And Aaron, what do they have to say about the ongoing legal issues? Yeah, an email, an email from Tarrant police officer Shante Crosby accuses the police chief of giving misinformation to the media in the investigation of a two year old's death. Now, we did reach out to police chief Wendell Major to ask him for comment, but he said that it would be best not to address the issue at this time, saying that he's been on administrative leave. A scathing email sent on Friday addressing misinformation in an investigation of two year old Ariah Crawford's death, saying, with all due respect, Chief Wendell Major, Please refrain from putting false information concerning this case in the media. When I left here, we were awaiting the report of the substance being returned. That was my last discussion with the, the detective that had been assigned that case. Officer Shante Crosby's email claims Farrah Bates, who was now charged with manslaughter in her two-year-old daughter's death, was not read her Miranda rights by Detective Cynthia Morrow because Morrow believed she did not have a crime to charge her with. Crosby says... Morrow claims the coroner ruled the cause of death as undetermined, even though an autopsy found fentanyl in the toddler's system, and drugs and drug paraphernalia were found in the same room Bates was sleeping in. You gotta remember, the police only submit what we find. Fine, we have to send it for analysis. The police, believe it or not, aren't chemists. They can't tell you what stuff is. They can tell you what they suspect, but then they submit it to the Alabama Department of Forensic Sciences for a report for scientific evidence, because that's what we got to go to court with. Crosby goes on to say, Major told the news, Detective Morrow was waiting for the Alabama Department of Forensic Science toxicology report to come back. She claims that statement is false because Morrow made it clear she did not have a crime, meaning she couldn't be waiting for a toxicology report. Chief Major previously criticized for not filing charges against the mother sooner. You might want to check with the prosecutor because they could t clearly tell you what was the new information or the urgency in issuing them more lately? Or could it be that some political person tried to shade the wheels of justice? And on Wednesday, Major sticking to his whereabouts during the investigation when asked. I was on administrative leave, right? right. So you know I wasn't aware. I had nothing to do with it. So how would I be able to tell you about the actions that occurred when I wasn't in office? Now, on Friday, Mayor Wayman Newton filed a motion for a temporary restraining order against the police chief and the city council. He also used that statement from Crosby to support his claims that the uh, police chief is doing harm to the city. But for right now, we're in Birmingham. Aaron Llewellyn, WVTM 13.